Hello everyone, welcome to our channel of campus. Please subscribe our channel of campus. In this video, we are going to see in engineering mathematics under differential equation. This is a continuous of our previous videos. Previously, we have posted videos uh, for particular integral for the RHS of different types of RHS. Okay. If you haven't so seen those videos, still kindly subscribe our channel of campus. Then one will uh, bell icon will appear click on the bell icon also then only we will, you will receive notification whenever we upload videos ok so in this type we are going to see uh, solution of the given differential equation for the type RHS equal to x power k some exponential uh, sorry some powers of x we will see how to solve this so for this case the complementary function will be same because why because we are taking RHS assume RHS equal to 0 for finding out the complementary functions for the only difference is particular integral will be varied for different kinds of functions for exponential previously we have seen exponential function and sin and sin and as well cosine function in this video we will get, uh, see for the RHS uh, type of RHS which have x power k functions ok so let us start the video the given is a second order linear differential equation so for that first what is the first step first step we need to find out the complementary function for finding out the complementary function what is the first step just a d by dx into capital D d squared plus 5d plus 6 into y equal to 0 assume to find out complementary function I assume RHS equal to 0 ok so what is this this is f of d f of d into y equal to 0 then axillary equation to form the axillary equation axillary equation is nothing but just replace a d by m m square plus 5 m plus 6 equal to 0 then we need to find out the roots for this m so m plus 2 into m plus 3 equal to 0 then what is the roots m equal to minus 2 comma minus 3 so we know that now basic thing so 2 into 3 we will get see uh, 6 2 plus 3 when we add these two we will get plus 5 ok so the roots are m m equal to minus 2 comma minus 3 so how the roots roots are real roots are real and distinct distinct means nothing but different roots are real and different or real and unequal or real and distinct all are same so whenever roots are real and distinct how the complementary function will be complementary function cf equal to a e power m on x plus b e power m to x two roots so a e power minus 2 x plus b e power minus 3 x so this is the complementary function then uh, actually then we need to find out the particular integral for finding out the particular integral we need to use the RHS what is the RHS given in the problem x squared so RHS equal to x squared so particular integral p pi equal to x squared by f of d what is f of d d squared plus this one d squared plus 5d plus 6 or f of d equal to can be written as d plus 2 into d plus 3 right this one this is f of d so x squared by d plus 2 divided by d plus 3 so, then what is the next step for the for this is nothing but just we need to for this function in x power something x squared function like this what we need to just take should be in denominator should be 1 plus x or 1 plus d we need to for that uh, we need to rearrange this form into 1 plus d for this we need what we need to do by taking 2 outside so 1 plus d by 2 right again in this function take 3 outside in this d plus 3 we will get 1 plus d by 3 so what is the constant 2 into 3 6 divided by 6 ok 1 by 6 let it be 1 by 6 then what is remaining in the denominator 1 plus d by 2 into 1 plus d by 3 will go to the numerator by like this right 1 plus 
d by 3 whole power minus 1 into what is that in the remaining numerator into x square so constant will be in the outside okay 1 by 6 then this is in the form of 1 plus x the whole power minus 1 so what is the expansion for this 1 minus x plus x square minus x cube plus etc so this is the expansion so then we need to expand this form take x as d by 2 and here x as 1 by 3 and expand this function ok then take 1 by 3 outside then expand this 1 plus 1 minus x plus x square so 1 minus d by 2 plus d square by 4 this 2 whole square now it will go up to infinity so we will uh, uh, we will uh, uh, something that called a higher order term may be neglected up to degree 2 we will take ok up to power 2 we will take uh, the higher order term will be neglected so for this it is enough ok for this again 1 minus a d by 3 plus d square plus 9 ok it is enough then what is that into x square ok then we need to multiply inside capital D differentiate nothing but d by dx differentiation in the numerator or 1 by d denotes integration so just multiply by multiply these two and we need to take weight multiply this what we will get 1 1 into this term ok 1 minus d by 3 take this 1 into and multiply this with d squared by 9 then multiply by minus d by 2 so minus d by 2 into 1 minus d by 2 minus into minus plus d squared by 6 again what we will get plus into minus d into d, d cube so we no need uh, that power 3 up to power 2 is enough ok we will stop up to this then we need to multiply this with this plus d squared by 4 right again this d into d minus d cube then d power 4 so we will uh, neglect the higher order power up to power 2 is degree 2 is enough ok so into x square then we will simplify these all ok 1 by 6 I will try it here so 1 by 6 outside 1 by 6 so I will simplify this taking LCMC 1 minus uh, d by 3 minus d by 2 we will get what is the simplified form by taking LCM and simplify this we will get 19 by 36 d squared into x squared so this will come by taking LCM for these two and these three we will get the simplified form is 1 minus 5 by 6 d into 19 by 36 d squared ok then what is the next step multiply by x squared instead inside so x squared minus 5 by 6 into d of x squared plus 19 by 36 d squared of x squared the whole square bracket brace ok d is nothing but differentiation d capital D denotes d by dx so similarly d squared is nothing but d squared by dx second derivative ok then here x squared minus 5 by 6 differentiating one time we will get 2 x right then plus 19 by 36 d square differentiating 2 x again differentiating we will get 2 ok cancelling this and cancel this we will get around what is the value 1 by 6 p a 1 by 6 outside x squared minus 5 x by 3 19 by 18 so this is equation 2 then what is the complete solution for a differential equation cf 
plus p i adding equation 1 and 2. So, what is cf this one? So, this is the solution a e power minus 2 x plus b e power minus 3 x plus adding this term ok. I am just writing p i there is no space. So, we need to add this two. So, this is the answer ok. Adding this two in this equation we will get the solution. So, whenever power x power k will come we need to follow this procedure ok. We will solve so few problems in this type ok. What is the next next problem is given we will see how to solve this. So, what is the first step what is f of d f of d it is in the form of f of d into y equal to 0 assume r h is equal to 0 to find out the complementary function. Then what is the next step re axillary equation form axillary equation <coughs> how to form the axillary equation replace capital D by m. So, m cube plus 3 m square plus 2 m equal to 0 then m into m squared plus 3 m plus 2 equal to 0. Then what is the roots m equal to 0 and sorry I will write m into m plus 2 into m plus 1 equal to 0. So, m equal to 0 comma minus 1 comma minus 2. So, this is the 3 roots for the m, m1, m2, m3. So, how the roots, roots are real and unequal. For that how the complementary function will be a e power 0 x, b e power minus x, c e power minus 2 x. So, this is the complementary function a e power 0 x plus b e power minus x plus c e power minus 2 x. So, a e power minus e power 0 is nothing but 1. So, a plus b e power minus x plus c e power minus 2 x. Say it is a equation 1 complementary function. So, this is the complementary function. Next, we need to find the particular integral. To find the particular integral, we need to use the RHS. So, RHS equal to x squared plus 3x plus 2 divided by 17 this term. By using this RHS we need to find out the particular integral. So, uh, what is the particular integral this term 1 by 17 should be in the outside x squared plus 3x plus 2 divided by f of d. So, f of d f of d can be written as f of d equal to this term right this is f of d can be factorized as d into this one d plus 2 into d plus 1. So, this is f of d. So, d into d plus 2 d into d plus 2 into d plus 1. So, this is f of d. So, what is the next step to take? So, in the denominator to take uh, like so it should be in the x square plus 3 x plus 2. So, by taking denominator 2 out this should be in the 1 plus x form. So, 1 plus t for that what we need to, to take to uh, 2 outside what uh, we will get 1 plus d by 2 d will be d as it is keep as it is. So, in this term take 2 outside then 1 plus d by 2 here d plus 1 can be rewritten as 1 plus d ok. This is in the form of 1 plus d itself. So, no need. Then in the denominator 17 into 2 nothing but 1 by 34 d term also in the denominator d term. Then these two will go to the numerator. So, these two term we will club with this ok. 17 into 2 34 here also d. What is remaining 1 plus d by 2 and 1 plus 1 plus d by 2 will go to the numerator as 1 plus d by 2 whole power minus 1 and 1 plus d power minus 1 into x square plus 3 x plus 2 right this one. Then we need to expand we know that 1 plus x uh, format 1 plus 1 minus x plus x square minus x cube like this. So, we uh, uh, as I told I will 
already we will uh, stop up to degree 2 the higher order terms will be may be neglected ok. So, 1 minus x plus uh, sorry 1 minus x is nothing but do, uh, d by 2 then d squared by 4 then this term 1 minus d plus d squared then this term x squared plus 3x plus 2 right. Then cross multiply these two we, we, we need to keep up to the degree 2 then higher order term will be neglected when we multiplying uh, whether we uh, if we get uh, the degree 3 or 4 we should neglect that and then multiply by inside will solve uh, will simplify this. So, so multiply 1 with this term 1 with this term 1 minus 3 plus uh, d squared then multiply minus d by 2 with this term. So, minus d by 2 minus into minus plus d squared by 2. So, minus d into d d cube. So, we will neglect then coming to this term d squared by 4 into 1 plus d squared by 4 again d cube and d power 4 all remaining terms may be neglected then we will write this then we will solve this ok 1 by 34 d into 1 this is a constant see where is uh, minus d and d minus d minus d by 2 can be written as minus 3 d by 2 d square term taking LCM this 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 taking LCM 4 2 6 6 plus 1 7 d squared by 4 ok by taking LCM all simplify first uh, d term then d squared term ok x squared plus 3 x plus 2 ok what is the next step just multiply with this inside 1 by 34 d so, 1 multiply this term we will get x squared plus 3x plus 2 minus 3 by 2 d of x squared ok. Then minus 3 by 2 d of 3x then this is a constant when we differentiating we will get 0 ok. So, I will uh, so this term minus 3 by 2 differentiation of x squared my again minus 3 by 2 minus not 3 by 2 minus 9 by 2 right minus 3 into 3 minus 9 now minus 9 by 2 differentiation of 3x then when we multiply this and differentiation of 2 we will get 0 so this term will get 0 so I am not writing ok then for this term 7 d squared 7 by 4 constant d squared of x squared ok then 7 by 4 plus 7 by 4 d squared of this term. So, when we uh, derivate this term 3 x derivating one time what we will get 3 again we need to d squared not d squared by d x squared. So, again we will derivative we will get 0 for this term we will get 0. So, for this also we will get 0 only when we differentiating constant ok. So, I am not going to write the rest of the term ok. So, it is 34 d do not miss it out it is very very important 1 by 34 d. So, x squared. So, again differentiating we will get 2 x right differentiation of x squared. So, 2 and 2 will get cancel. So, x square plus 3 x plus 2 minus 3 x right minus 3 x then differentiating this will get what 3 3 alone right minus this uh, term 3 minus uh, 9 by 2 into 3 plus 7 by 4 into 2x into 2 ok 
So, x square plus 3 x plus 2 this 3 x minus 3 x will get cancelled. Then x square plus 2 when we simplifying what we will get this all constant taking LCM we will get around 1 plus x square. So, 1 by 34 d So, it is not 3 into 3 here I made a mistake guys very sorry 3 by 2 will be in the outside. So, differentiation of 3 x. So, it is differentiation of 3 x 3 by 2 will be in the outside it is the differentiation of 3 x it is in 3 into 3 9 by 2 ok it is. Uh, so, plus 3 x minus 3 x will get cancelled. So, x square term remaining then what is the constant I am just writing here 2 to simplify this constant this 2 9 by 2 minus 9 by 2 plus this one 2 sorry 7 by 2. So, what is remaining 2 minus 9 by 2 ok plus uh, 7 by 2. So, 2 4 minus 9 plus 7 what is remaining 4 11 11 minus 9 2 2 by 2 2 by 2 is nothing but 1. So, what is the constant remaining 1? So, 1 by 34 d into x square plus 1 ok that is the p i p i equal to 1 by 34 d into x square plus 1. So, this is 1 by 34 into 1 by d of this term x square plus 1 or 1 plus x square. So, what is 1 by d? It is nothing but integration. So, integration of this term. So, integration of this will get integral dx x then integration of x square nothing but x cube by 3. So, it is equation 2 p a. So, what is the complete solution? complete solution y equal to complementary function plus particular integral adding 1 and 2. So, a plus b e power minus x plus c e power minus 2 x plus 1 by 34 into x plus x cube by 3. So, this is y. So, what is y? This one this one is y. So, this is the complete solution for this problem ok. So, next question d square plus 2 into y equal to x square. So, we will see how to solve this the first step f of d into y equal to 0. Assume to find complementary function assume RHS equal to 0 then form the axillary equation. Axillary equation is nothing but replace d by m m square plus 2 equal to 0. m square plus 2 equal to 0 m squared equal to minus 2 ok m equal to plus or minus square root i root 2 or square root of i. So, Com, uh, what are the roots? Two roots, two roots are complex conjugate. So, complex conjugate how the complementary function will be alpha plus or minus beta. What is alpha here? Alpha equal to 0 and beta equal to root 2. So, complementary function is nothing but in general for complex root I, am, I will write here E alpha x to A cos beta x plus B sin beta x. Already we have solved many problems in for different type of roots how the complementary function will be ok. Kindly check with the playlist then only you can proceed further ok. So, e power alpha x e power 0 x e power 0 we will get 1 only. So, we will neglect this. So, a cos beta x what is beta root 2 root 2 x plus b sin root 2 x say it is equation 1. So, complementary function part is over. Next what is that? 
to find out the particular integral for per, to find out particular integral we need to rhs use the rhs x squared so what is f of d f of d equal to d squared plus 2 rhs equal to x squared then particular integral is nothing but x squared by f of d f of d equal to d squared plus 2 okay for that what we need to do we just take this to the numerator so uh, so right we need to 1 plus x format okay 1 plus x format for that we take 2 outside then 1 plus d squared by 2 okay then 1 by 2 will be outside then this will go to the numerator by d squared by 2 whole power minus 1 into x square so this is in the form of 1 plus x the whole power minus and how to expansion of this is 1 minus x plus x squared so 1 minus x is nothing but this term take this as x so we will stop up to this because it is a degree 2 the higher order terms will be neglected so it is enough 1 minus d squared by 2 into x squared then what is the next step so multiply by x squared inside so x squared minus d squared of x squared half is in the outside right is this correct yes then half into x squared minus here also half we need to differentiate two times okay 2x for first time then d of x squared equal to 2x here then d of 2x equal to nothing but 2 so d squared of x squared is nothing but 2 this and this will get cancelled half into x squared minus 1 so this is the particular integral say it is equation 2 this is complementary function so what is the solution solution complete solution of this differential function is cf plus pa which is equal to y equal to a cos root 2x plus b sin root 2x adding equation 1 and 2 plus half into x squared minus 1 so this is the solution for that given differential equation ok we will solve few problems in this type ok the given problem is given so how can we rearrange first we will uh, replace by capital D d squared minus 3 d plus 2 into y equal to 1 plus x so this is f of d into y to find first we need to find out the complementary function for that we need to assume rhs equal to 0 then to form the axillary equation axillary equation is nothing but replace uh, d by m so m squared minus 3m plus 2 equal to 0 then find out the roots for the m so m minus 2 into m minus 1 equal to 0 see is this correct minus 2 into minus 1 plus 2 minus 2 minus 1 minus 3 so what is the roots m equal to 1 comma 2 ok so how the roots uh, roots are real and different for real and different the complementary function is a e power x plus a e power m on x plus b e power m to x so a e power x plus b e power 2 x so this is the complementary function next what is the next step to find p a particular integral to find out p a we need to use rhs what is rhs rhs equal to 1 by x so then what is the p a p a is nothing but 1 plus x divided by f of d f of d can be rewritten as f of d equal to factorize as d minus 2 into d minus 1 right the same thing d square minus 3 d plus 2 can be rewritten as d minus 2 into d minus 1 so it will be in the denominator divided by f of d is nothing but d minus 2 into d minus 1 then what is the next step we need to form as 1 plus x form ok 1 plus x so for that what we need to do so 
So, in that uh, denominator take minus 2 outside. So, minus 2 outside 1 minus d by 2 right cross checking minus 2 into plus d. Here also one minus 1 outside then 1 minus d. Is this correct? Okay, minus 2 into minus 1 we will get plus 2 plus 2. So, 1 by 2 constant then what is in the numerator 1 minus d whole power minus 1 and this term this term and this term ok 1 minus we need to form rearrange this term like this ok it, it should be in the form of 1 plus x power minus or something power minus 1 or minus 2 whatever. So, we need to uh, rearrange this 1 plus x or 1 minus x that form ok into what is in the numerator 1 plus x correct then it is in the form of 1 minus x power minus 1. So, in general we have seen already 1 plus x whole power minus 1 the same thing for 1 minus x power uh, 1 minus x power minus 1 the only thing is the sign will not going to change in there we will see previously 1 plus x power minus 1 see I will show the this is the general derivative derivative we need to be very aware of this we need to know this ok we should know this 1, 1 plus x this is outside power minus 1 sorry 1 minus x plus x square plus minus x cube alternatively sign will change positive negative positive positive negative to po negative positive negative positive like this for 1 plus x the whole power minus 1. So, similarly 1 minus x power minus 1 the, the terms are the same ok 1 plus x square plus x cube plus x power 4 etc infinity the sign will be only positive for both negative we will get a positive value here for one positive and negative we will get alternately sign will be 1 minus plus minus plus like this ok the remaining term will be same. So, this is the expansion for 1 minus x power minus 1 so 1 plus x plus x squared x up to etc. So, whenever we will expand we will stop up to degree 2 the higher order term may be neglected similarly we will expand this 1 minus x power minus 1 what is x here d so 1 plus a d plus d squared is enough up to degree 2 will be enough then what is the next one 1 minus d by 2 so 1 plus x plus x squared is nothing but d squared by 4 ok then 1 plus x then we will multiply these two 1 by 2. So, 1 plus multiply all this with 1 1 plus d by 2 plus d squared by 4 then multiply d with all this d plus d squared by 2 d plus d squared by 2 then multiply with d and d squared we will get d cube we no need that up to degree 2 will be enough. So, we will neglect this then multiply this d squared then d cube d power 4 will be neglected. So, d squared is enough then 1 plus x then we will simplify this and multiply with 1 plus x inside ok. So, half into 1 plus d by 2 d by 2 plus d what we will get 3 d by 2 then d square term taking LCM. So, 1 plus 2 plus 4 4 plus 2 to 6 7 plus 7 d squared by 4 ok. We are simplifying these 2 these 3 then 1 plus x then we will uh, multiply with 1 plus x inside 1 into 1 plus x 1 plus x plus 3 by 2 into 1 plus x the differentiation of 1 plus x plus 7 by 4 into d squared of 1 plus x. So, this is the ok. 
what is the next step? It is the 1, 1 by 2 into 1 plus x plus 3 by 2 into differentiating this will be constant 0. So, differentiating x we will get 1 only. So, 3 by 2 into 1, 3 by 2 alone then 7 by 4 differentiating 2 times. So, one, this is a constant we can ignore this uh, then d squared, d squared term we will uh, differentiating 2 times x, d squared of x first time 1 then again differentiation of all 0. So, this term will be 0. So, it would not come. So, 1 plus x plus 3 by 2. Then how can we simplify 1 by 2 multiply by this x by 2. So, x by 2 then 1 by 2 plus 3 by 2 constant when we multiplying this 1 by 2 plus 3 by 2 we will get around 5 by 4 right 1 by 2. So, this 1 by 2 multiply by half x by 2 plus half plus again 3 by 4. When we simplifying what we will get p a equal to x by 2 by simplifying the constants x taking uh, LCM along 5 by 4. So, if this is taking LCM 2, 2 plus 3, 5, 5 by 4, okay. This is P A. So, by adding uh, the way we found the, then the, what is the complete solution? Complete solution is nothing but Y equal to C F complementary function plus particular integral. So, this is the complete solution adding equation 1 and 2. A e power x, B e power 2 x plus what is P A? x by 2 plus 5 by 4. So, x by 2 plus 5 by 4. So, this is the complete solution for this differential equation. Okay. We will move on to the next problem. So, d squared plus 5 d plus 6 into y equal to x squared. So, first thing what is that to form the axillary equation replace a d by m m squared plus 5 m plus 6. So, what is f of d here this term d squared plus 5 d plus 6. So, factorize this as a d plus 2 into d plus 3 right. Okay. To find out complementary function assume RHS equal to 0 this term okay. RHS equal to 0 then factorize m plus 2 into m plus 3 equal to 0. So, 2 into 3 6 2 plus 3 5. So, what is the m value minus 2 comma minus 3. So, complementary function equal to roots are real and unequal. So, a e power minus 2 x plus b e power minus 3 x. So, this is the complementary function. Then to find out the particular integral. So, for, to find out particular integral we need to use RHS equal to x squared. So, particular integral is nothing but x squared by f of d. What is f of d here? This one factorizes d plus 2 into d plus 3. So, d plus 2 into d plus 3. So, what is the next step? We need to take uh, uh, rearrange this into 1 plus x form. To uh, take that form, we need to take 2 outside and 1 plus d by 2. For this term take 3 outside into 1 plus d by 3. Then what is the constant 1 uh, 3 into 2 6 1 by 6 then these 2 term will go to the numerator as 1 plus d by 2 whole power minus 1 1 plus 1 plus d by 3 whole power minus 1 into this term x squared. So, well uh, we know that what is uh, expansion of 1 plus x minus 1 is nothing but 1 minus x plus x squared. So, uh, 1 minus x d by 2 plus x squared d squared by 4 we will stop up to degree 2 higher order terms may be neglected. Similarly, for this 1 minus d by 3 plus d squared by 9 into x squared. Then what is the next term cross multiply inside 
and then multiply with x square. So, 1 by 6 into this term. What is that? Multiply by 1 first 1 minus d by 2 plus d squared by 4 again this term right take this one and multiply it by this term then minus d by 3. So, minus d by 3 multiply by this minus d by 3 then minus into minus plus d squared by 6 then this term can be neglected. So, it is power 3. So, then this term d squared by 9 alone into x squared right. So, 1 minus d by 2 plus d squared 4 minus d by 3 plus d squared by 6 then d squared by 9 up to this we will stop. Then we will take LCM and simplify this 1 minus so uh, sorry minus 3 by 2 minus d by 3 what we will get minus d by 2 and minus d by 3 and we will solve this ok this thing 36 ok what is this minus d by 2 minus d by 3 taking LCM 6 minus 3d minus 2d minus 5 by 6 into d right then for d square term these 3 36 will be in the lcm so 36 9 plus 6 6 into 6 plus 4 19 by 36 into d square so 15 19 okay 1 by 6 so multiply by x uh, x square into square x square minus 5 by 6 into differentiation of this x square plus 15 19 19 by 36 into d square of x square. So, this one ok. So, what is the next step? So, 1 by 6 into x square minus 5 by 6 into uh, differentiation of x square we will get 2x these 2 and 3. So, 5x by 3 ok minus 5x by 3 plus 19 by 6 into differentiation down 2 times 2x again differentiating we will get 2 d square of x square is nothing but 2. So, this is 19 by 18. So, this one. So, this is the particular integral. So, equation 2 what is the complete solution? Complete solution y equal to complementary function c f plus particular integral p a. But just adding 1 and 2 together. a e power minus 2 x plus b e power minus 3 x. a e power minus 2 x b e power minus 3 x plus 1 by 6 into these two. x square minus 5 x by 3 plus 19 by 18. Ok, this is the complete solution for this differential equation. Then we will solve. This is the final problem. We will check one second. Ok, this is the final problem in this type. Ok, so d square plus d into y equal to x square plus 2x plus 4. So, what is f of d? f of d equal to d square plus d. So, we need to find out the axillary of a complementary function before finding out the complementary function we need to find out from the axillary equation by replacing d by m. So, m square plus m for complementary function assume RHS equal to 0. So, m square plus m equal to 0. So, taking m outside so m plus 1. So, what are all the roots m equal to 0 comma minus 1 right. So, complementary function how the roots roots are real and unequal. So, a e power 0 x e power 0 x will be 1 only e power 0 is nothing but 1 and then b e power minus x. So, this is the complementary function a plus b e power minus x. Then what is the next procedure? We need to find out the particular integral. 
to find out particular integral we need to use the RHS given in the problem what is that x square plus 2x plus 4 right then what is the next step particular integral is nothing but x square plus 2x plus 4 divided by f of d f of d is d square plus d taking d outside d into d plus 1 ok. So, f of d equal to d into d plus 1. So, we need to rearrange into 1 plus x form see this is 1 plus d form alone only ok. So, no need so 1 by d will be in the outside. So, 1 plus d whole power minus 1 then x square plus 2x plus 4 this is in the form of 1 plus s whole power minus 1. So, we need to expand this term by 1 minus x plus x squared etc. We will stop up to degree 2 higher order term may be neglected multiply by this. Now, multiply by this term inside 1 by d will be in the outside multiply by 1 x square plus 2 x plus 4 then multiply by this one differentiation of one time we will get 2 x. So, minus 2 x ok then multiply by this differentiation of 2 x is nothing but 2. So, minus 2 then differentiation of constant will be 0 again multiplying by this term d squared with this term. So, d squared is nothing but differentiation 2 times 2 x again differentiation 2 plus 2 then differentiating 2 times 2 x and uh, again differentiating will be constant 0 this is a constant 0 these two term will not get. So, this multiply plus 2 x minus 2 x get cancelled minus 2 plus 2 get cancelled. So, 1 by d x squared plus 4. So, what is we what we need to do? We need to 1 by d is nothing but what is 1 by d just integration. So, integrating this term p a equal to x cube by 3 plus 4 x right. So, this is equation 2. So, what is the complete solution y equal to c f plus p a. So, just adding 1 and 2. So, what is c f a plus b e power minus x plus x cube by 3 plus 4 x. So, this is the complete solution for this problem ok. We will end up up we will end up this session ok. Kindly subscribe our channel off campus and click on the bell icon also then only you will receive notification. Thanks for watching.